everybody, Zach here with JC Landscapes, coming to you all with another vlog. And today I'm going to um, talk a little bit about the spray division here at JC Landscapes. Actually, I'm gonna have a lot of help from Will and Luke on this one because this is their division. So we're gonna go see Will right now and he's gonna give us some info on the uh, logistical side of things and kind of what he does and where the branch is at in the company. So, Will, um, about what percentage would you say the lawn care division does for the company financially? About 25%. 25%. As of, as of last year. Cool. Awesome. And what is your role with Luke? How do you guys kind of work together? I tell him what to do. <laughs> and then I hide in my office for the rest of the day. <laughs> no, I kind of... Well, I, I wear multiple hats. So yes. I, for the spray division, I manage all the estimating, the customer relationship stuff. Um, I handle all the, um, basically like the general operations and then Luke um, primarily handles the field work. And then for JC as a whole, I handle a lot of the marketing side of things and kind of collaborate yep. with the other guys on that. Yep. Perfect. Cool. And is there anything new that we're doing this year or anything we're changing with the landscape branch or with the, sorry, the lawn application branch? Yeah. Yeah. What are we doing? Send Jim. Cool. Yeah. We're excited about Send Jim. Really excited about Send Jim. <clears throat> Can't wait to see that. They sent us some samples. Brownies were good. Yes, they were. Yes. Thanks, Send Jim. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Will. Appreciate it. All right. We're going to go down here to Luke, see what he is up to. <coughs> hey, there he is. What? Excuse me. All righty. Here you go, Jordan. Oh, I guess yeah, film? Yeah, you get to film. We're Come rolling. On. Ah, okay, so this is Luke. Luke, what are you up to lately and recently? Everything. Cool, what does everything mean? Well, for starters, I'm trying to drill a hole, which isn't going very well. Um, <laughs> but otherwise, so we finally got this back. We're really excited to try this out. Um, pretty much we designed, the way the machine was designed, it wasn't very, steady on hills the tank sat up here we had this made for us so that the tank sits down I wanted a little back further to put for a better weight adjustment but hey it, it works and we got uh extra long hose the original hose was just this little guy and then we threw this on here i think it's about 100 foot of hose so we can get on like really steep areas if we need to and then we had this bad boy built because Still yeah. Keep going. Okay. okay. We had this built because if you come around this way, we had to lug these things out, which I think they weigh about 70 pounds each. One, two, and you have to like drag them out. But with so we still have that for our, uh, for the that's what's gonna ride on that. We can throw that up on the truck. We've done that before. And then we can also throw this guy in the back and then we can go do weed control on our big commercial properties. Uh, but this is definitely a lot easier. Just folds out, drops down, you throw it, drive it right off the back there. Very easy. And these were really high. So if there was any kind of drop, um, it just wasn't really good. And especially you get on a wet morning or something, lots mm -hmm. to do. The tires were not really designed for that. And yeah, the last year I took the thing over one time and yeah, messed up my back a little bit for a couple <gasps> days, so that was great. This is actually really exciting. So before we had that thing hooking up into here, that was it. It was just hooked up in here, nothing, nothing too fancy. Uh, this is a 110 gallon tank. This is a 100, that's a 300. 
What's the purpose of this pump here? This is what we call a transfer pump. The difference between this guy and these two, these pull, uh, this one pulls out of the 100, that one out of the 300. Um, before, we were just doing your regular spray hand wand applications with that, we use that. But we had to split up jobs roughly between the 110 and the 300. Well, for the day, sometimes would make better sense doing more 300 or less 110 because with 110, I think that thing can hold around 30 some gallons, 18, mm -hmm. 32, I think. Something like that. So literally you're using, you got three good stops, you're done. With this setup, we can literally fill all three of these if we wanted to. We probably won't, but we're at least gonna maybe try and get at least 400 410 gallons between the two of these and we'll be able to run a lot more properties that This one could do but we don't have enough liquid in the past. So now with this thing I can literally You want to come here? Mm -hmm. This is a transfer hose that goes back into the 110 for agitation that doesn't do anything right now So make sure that's locked in pull this thing apart Pops off this is, I think the 300, yes. This is the 300, and just like that. I hate these things. And then make sure they're both open, and then run the hose to the back there. And yeah, I am really looking forward to this. Hoping to be able to use this a lot. Because just time saver. The biggest thing why we didn't, number one, was if we couldn't do anything under 10,000 square feet, it wasn't justifiable. Unless we had like a handful of properties going like right at the same stop, we'd fill up and then go to those separately. But now, I mean, we can probably do a really good day. The speed on this one, a lot better. And yeah, until you got everything, until you slid all those out, until you filled up and everything, you literally could waste, would well, not waste, but cost you like, 10 minutes maybe mm -hmm. just pulling everything off with this setup it was not very efficient with this setup efficient. yeah you're gonna still have a little bit in the time fill up but just dropping this down i can start this up back off i mean it's just gonna be so much better like not having to try and worm my way down through here and maybe actually backing the thing off the side because these were two individuals and you had about that much so you better get it on otherwise yeah even when you did get it on, they were slippery. Right. So it was... And that's why it's beautiful with the diamond plate here. Hopefully that'll give us traction. <laughs> but literally, I think this thing sits two feet off the ground. So you literally have like... I mean, it's... The grade is much friendlier for that thing. Because it's only right at like 15 degrees. And at some points, this was definitely exceeded. But... And the way they designed this, they had like spaces in between and it would drop down in and it could cause it to bounce and mm -hmm. with that machine any little uh, kind of traction you give up is not as a bad recipe but yep. so yeah that's really exciting for this year because yeah just you get better application with this uh with this if you're not as coordinated as some people me being one of them you have to <laughs> You have to do the hand control and your walking speeds and make sure your pressure's all set and try and make sure you're not going too fast. If it's a windy day like today, which is very windy, so we wouldn't be doing that today. Uh, you have to compensate. You have to maybe put it down a little further so you're not getting like blow off or drift as it were. Um, so with this, we, we can, yeah, get a really good application and yeah. We, and we added the sides to the truck this year too, right? The yes. sides and the retainer kind of. Uh, come over here. That side is going to be our JC logo, hopefully. And who knows? Maybe we should put a slap a sticker on that thing yet too. But, um, oh, also uh, one other thing. We wanted to be able, we have one property where it, it's a lot of square footage for weed control in Harrisburg. Uh, the Pennsylvania capital area and it's a lot of a lot of I don't know what you call it like 
a lot of sitting area for like I think the one company does like the giant power lines you see so there's a lot of a lot of area with gravel well a weed's best friend is probably gravel so mm -hmm. there's a ton of weeds and before we were lucky to get um I'm not even sure what we got we had like a 125 and we could burn through that and because we got this machine going and then we'll have the, the buggy cart. going yeah go cart. always called the buggy but we have them going at the same time so 25 gallons for the golf cart and then yeah like roughly 30 some gallons for this thing so it, it takes a lot of water and so you can literally probably deal with that in like about an hour with this hopefully we'll have enough liquid to be able to make it through our days um we are a tiny bit anxious on the weight side of things because it's going to be like 510 gallons at i think it's eight pounds a gallon if i'm not mistaken mm -hmm. something like that and then we're going to have the golf cart in here in the turf pro right here so we were this is a 350 it, it is okay. so my biggest thing was will the frame hold up but i think it will be fine guys do a lot crazier stuff with this style of truck so yep. but yeah so that's why also we wanted to be able to do this not just for the chemical side but for the water side because we were kind of pulling from a public source which there was nothing wrong with that we were just pulling water like we were making sure to mix the chemicals way away from the water source we were just trying to um yeah make sure like no nothing good we just needed water and there was nowhere else to get it and that was a pain because you had like a 15 foot drop so yes this will be really helpful a lot better yes and yeah the quick attach and stuff is really i'm really anxious to see what we could what we can do mm -hmm. with this i think it'll be a really good time saver uh, money maker because technically that's why we bought this thing is to cut small jobs in half so am i, am I rambling too much <laughs> <laughs> i mean i had pepsi so you asked for it <laughs> <laughs> this is why we love you luke <laughs> and that's why you got an edit button <laughs> <laughs> this is true all right so, no i think uh Honestly, you covered it, which is good. Mm -hmm. I mean, we made a lot of changes. We've been making a lot of changes to the spray branch. Um, and yeah, it's been, Will's been doing a good job of keeping track of everything with that and just the improvements and the things that we can do to make things more efficient. Um, you know, the first few years here with the lawn spraying division, we've probably been spending, not too much, but we've been spending to increase the efficiency. So. This year we're looking at profit, um, which I think we'll get there. We will. Well. Will. Will's going to concentrate on customer satisfaction and customer service, which I mean we always tried to do, but we really, really want to focus in on that this year. So that's pretty much everything for this spray bench. And mm -hmm. if you have any questions or anything about what we do or our application process, just let us know. Hi, Jordan. Hey, what's up, boss? Hey, uh, thanks for filming. No problem. Cool. All right, guys. Well, that's the video for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you like this kind of content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you guys have any questions or anything, want to know more about our application program or what we might, what we might use, um, go ahead and comment down below. And feel free to give us a big thumbs up there on the YouTube channel. And we will see you all in the next one.